Welcome to another Infographic Instant with Brian Michael. In this episode, we'll be looking at the question, how bad is Brunei's inequality? Or put another way, how high is its Gini coefficient? Decades of research indicate that inequality can kill both economic growth and human development. However, we must know the level of such inequality before we can think about measuring its effects. The infographic you see in front of you shows Gini coefficients for Brunei by looking at the size of various sectors and salaries in Brunei's public sector and private sector. So simply by looking at the distribution of these resources across sectors and individuals, we can calculate a Gini coefficient of roughly 0.4 and you can see the methodology in the footnote below. How does a 0.4 Gini coefficient rank relative to other countries? This map of the world shows recorded Gini coefficients for other countries. And we see that only countries colored red rank roughly as unequally as Brunei or worse. So, for example, South Africa certainly has much more income inequality than Brunei. And stepping back and looking at the big picture, we see that if we exclude the crown and the effect that the crown has on income distribution, we see that Brunei's government does not do a bad job of redistributing income. We see that Gini coefficients for Brunei roughly match those of the surrounding territories, particularly Malaysia. This has been another Infographic Instant with Brian Michael.